Hey gamers, I'm a Viking now. You might be asking, who is this man? Why do I hoard so many fucking logs? These questions will be answered in due time, my friend. Due time. Download the game. Log into the game. Make sure your name is Chadnar Fatcock. World Seed set to Poop Sock. Click start and load the game. When you load in the game, build a house and spend three autistic hours cutting down every tree between your new home and the starter zone. Watch them collapse into each other. Feel good. Why? Because fuck the trees. I'm making this review because this game, simply put, is really fucking good. It's a randomly generated voxel world with terrific lighting, music, ambience, and robust crafting system that includes weapons, clothes, tools, structures, and log piles. I bet I've played the game for about 15 hours in total now, and I haven't even bothered to fight the first boss. Why, you ask? Because it's good. It's immersive. In Valheim, I am an autistic Viking virgin. I am Chadnar Fatcock, and this is my home. Built from humble beginnings and no resources, I've given myself hearth and home by the sweat of my own brow. Wood, boxes, crosses, logs, rocks, you name it, I got it. And I did it, myself. Ask the animals, and they will teach you. Or the birds in the sky, and they will tell you. Or speak to the earth, and it will teach you. Or let the fish in the sea inform you. Which of all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? And his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. We grow, learn, and subside from nature. We are not separate, but I will use it to get as much fucking wood as I can. This game really is terrific. Spamming crosses upon the pagan landscape while altering it as you see fit really does bring me a sense of immersive lonely bliss. Watching the sun set, rise, and dissipate over the world is only a compliment to the satisfying grind for more wood. My urge to gather as many resources as I can before I move on to the next stage of the game is my modus operandi, and seeing as though I've almost completely eradicated the long branch menace from the walls of my home, I can honestly tell you that I'm not satisfied, satiated for wood. I will continue my grind in this terrific little gem of a game until I've amassed enough birch and pine to wall off myself from the rest of the world of Valheim. Honestly, for 20 bucks on Steam, you can't go wrong. The game plays on potatoes and toasters, which makes it much more accessible for people with shitbox computers. The developers are actively updating their game, which shows that they are not only consumer friendly, but very passionate about their product. Woe are the autists and nerds that just want a decent fucking game to play. Socrates. As we all know, the AAA industry has been in shambles for the past few years, barely competent enough to pump out titles and maintain them. Supporting smaller indie developers will hopefully give the AAA gaming industry a, kip in, a kick in the ball sack for the stupid live service bullshit they've been pushing for years. Making shit games with no immersion, no depth, and importantly, no soul. It's nice to see and feel a game that's focus is entirely built around itself rather than microtransaction bullshit, corporate interests, or woke politics. I think it's fair to say that the brainlit consumer army has given us an era of simply awful games. With my discovery of Valheim, I'm more optimistic about the future of the gaming and tech industries in general. Closeted shut-ins with no friends and obsession with wood will definitely enjoy this game. So will your wife. Anyways, I've got more trees to cut, more logs to stack, and more crosses to build. Buy the game.